Hello and welcome to part 10 of the JB5 tutorial series with uh, the Jackie, the Jack Russell Terrier dog. Uh, when last I left you, we just finished setting up the basic rig. Um, there's a few more things we need to do though before we continue on to uh, this, the smaller parts of it. And first of all, um, I want to turn the deformation settings off of these IK bones because uh, if, they're t if it's turned on, then when we apply the mesh to the rig, they'll get vertex groups and they'll be weight painted and everything and they don't need to be the only thing that needs to be is the underlying bones because those will be the ones that are actually controlling so grab those bones go over come over here to our uh, display or bone display there and actually let me turn on my screencast keys there we go and we'll scroll down here to the bottom where it says deform go ahead and uncheck that do that on each one of these four IK bone controllers and then also on the knees the knee bone controllers there and there. Okay, so uh, now when we add that, those won't be affected. So, okay, now one other th one other thing we need to do is to make the tail wag a little easier. Is uh, we can add some constraints so that they all bend this uh, along with the base. When we wag the base, they'll kind of wave around. So, the way we do that, select the main uh, tailbone there. And actually, I guess I need to rename those, don't I? So let's call that, oopsie, undo that. Tail, oops, tail base, okay. And tail.01, just hover over, copy that, paste 02, not 002. There we go. And 03, okay. So now I'm gonna select tail.01, shift select, Tail.02, Control Shift C, copy rotation, and I'll select that bone, go to our bone constraints, set the space to local, to local, and go ahead and turn on offset, and do this the same thing down to the other, the tip of the bone, the tip of the tail. Select the middle bone first, shift select the end, control shift C, copy rotation, local space, local space, offset. So now when we rotate the the base, the tail base, it'll wave, it'll wag both of those bones so you can rotate like so. However, one thing that we need to tell it not to copy is a twist. Control comma because we're still rotating around the 3D cursor there. So if I twisted it like so, you can see it twists the, the other bones as well. We don't want that because the tail doesn't really twist. It only basically bends left and right and up and down. So we'll go ahead and tell this uh, let's turn on turn on our axis so we can see which one we don't want it to rotate around. And in this case, it's the Y axis. So go ahead and turn those axes back off. Go back to our bone constraints and say, nope, not the Y and not the Y. So now, when I rotate left and right, it still goes left and right. And up and down, still goes. It goes cleared out so you can see it better. Still goes up and down. So now if we twist, it won't. It kind of goes crazy at some points because, well, we don't really need to be twisting anyway, so it's not really something we need to worry about. Okay, so now if we move that around, you can kind of see it in action. Okay, so now let's jump in and start adding the uh, the extra bones for like the ears and the facial controls. So I'm just going to grab the head bone. I'm going to go to our side view, tab into edit mode, and actually let's go to our front view. Let's put a, a base bone about right there or 3D cursor, deselect everything. Base bone right there, and then right there, so it gets it right there at the base of the ear. And I'm gonna do kind of like I did on the tail. I'm gonna add a base bone first, and then one more bone to go to the ear, to, to be the ear flap, the ear lobe. So we'll shift A, and then actually let's just make this bone the whole ear, like so, and then we'll just subdivide it once, then make the base a little bit thicker, and a lot more narrow, so let's grab that. Grab not the bone, but the pivot point there. Let's go to our top view. Drag that in to there. Okay. Okay, so this will be, let's go ahead and name it earbase.l. And then this one will be ear.l. Okay, and now the way the way I want to get this to work is since it's got that base, I can add some segments to that bone. 
under the deform settings here. Add some segments. And now when I rotate it, it'll be nice and, you know, it'll have the, uh, the gradual bend, like so. But one thing you're, you might notice at the end, it's kind of doing an S curve there. I don't want that, so I'm going to tell it to ease out zero. So it flops nicely all by itself. Okay, so let's undo that and let's tab into uh, edit mode again and we're going to Alt, Alt, Control, S, X. Actually, let's see, I guess uh, Z, there we go. Alt, Control, S, Z, just so we can get that to look a little more like it's supposed to and then we'll rotate it to fit the ear itself a little bit better and the base of it as well. If I can get the base of it. There we go. Okay, so that'll control the ear. We can rotate it, flop it down, whatever. Okay, so that's good to go on the ear. Um, and you know, I guess that's all the extra bones we need to make aside from uh, the controllers actually need to go ahead and parent it to the head. Keep the offset so we rotate the head goes with it. Okay, so I guess while we're at it, let's go ahead and shift S cursor to selected so it's right there in the center. And we'll select both of the bones for the ear. Shift D. We're going to hit our period button so we're rotating around the 3D cursor again. SX negative 1. Okay, and go ahead and armature flip names. And then we'll go ahead and select the original bones. And we still have the x-axis mirror so when we hit control R, those bones on the other side will automatically pop in to mirror the same rotation as these bones. So, control comma, we'll go ahead and back out to uh, the uh, rotate around the 3D cursor, or around the median point selection. So there we go, so we've got ears on both sides. And one other thing I'd like to do on the neck, let's add some segments to that, so it's a nice gradual bend whenever we, and also on the spine. So there we go. Okay, so we got our, our main rig all set. So let's go in and start working on uh, adding the controls for the facial expressions. So the first thing I want to do is add the ones for the eyes and the eyelids. So let's grab our eyeball and shift S, add our cursor to the selection right there in the center. And then we'll go ahead and grab our rig again, tab it back into edit mode and shift A. And it added a bone right there in the middle of our eyeball. So that's good. Let's go ahead and grab the, t the top of it, and let's go to the transform rather than rotate manipulators. And I want to go ahead and make this flatter. We Z back into solid view. Control Alt S uh, Y, make that flatter. Okay, and this will be the eyelid top, so we'll call this one eyelid T dot L. Okay, for T for top. Actually, let's go ahead and put a dot T just so it separates out. Okay, and then we will duplicate this, shift D, and grab the tip of it. And you can see right now we have the original eyelid top left selected. So click again, and you can see which one you have selected again. Let's go ahead and drag that down to where it's about right there. And go ahead and call this one B for bottom. I know we used B for back before, but uh, it'll work for bottom as well. And let's go ahead and drag that forward about like so, and then drag the top one forward as well. And one more time, Shift D, duplicate that, and this one's just going to be eyeball.l, okay? This is going to control the actual eyeball. So just click until you get the right tip, and just drag that down until it's perfectly straightforward. You can see the lines there. There we go. Okay, so now we need to make sure all three of these bones are parented to the head. Control P, keep the offset. And now to make the eyelids rotate correctly amongst the, the actual mesh eyelids, remember they need to rotate uh, 25 degrees. So we'll go to our top view, and if we rotate around the 3D cursor, hit the period button, rota rotate those R25, and then we're going to need to go negative because it's the negative side. So now if we bring these down on the on the z-axis, get them lined up with the edges of the eyelids. We can control the roll so they're actually matched up. Okay, so now when they rotate in pose mode along the normal there, they will close the eyelids as they're as they're uh, arranged. So it'll so it'll 
the link correctly. Okay, so on the eyeball bone itself, let's tab back in a moment. Let's make that a little skinnier. So it's basically just a direction. It's pointing at where the eyeball is going to be looking. And let's give it something to look at. So we'll tab back in edit mode. Shift D, duplicate that. And let's drag it out on the Y axis. And then maybe make it a little bigger. Let's go control comma. There we go. And we'll call this, this is going to be as look at target. Or as track too. So we'll call this one I look dot L. Okay. And we need to go ahead and remove this, this bone from being parented to the head. So we'll go ahead and just hit the X right there. And we'll tab out. And now let's go ahead and give these, give it a constraint. The way we do that is the same thing we did on the arms and legs, for the, for the wrists and paws, or the, the feet, paws. Select that and then shift select the eye bone and shift I and give an IK constraint to the bone. Now it's going to try to stretch the whole uh, rig chain to meet that point, which is obviously undesirable. So we need to give it a chain length of one. So now wherever this target is, this look, I look is at the actual eye bone is going to follow it. So we can control this, control where he's looking. Okay. So that's good to go. Um, before I copy that over to the other side, let's go ahead and create the, the bones that will control this smile, frown, open mouth, and uh, eyebrows. So that'll be fairly easy. So going to put our 3D cursor right there, go to our side view, and that's about right. Maybe a little further over, about right there. We'll say Shift A. Just drag this down. Go ahead and make that smaller. And tell you what, let's go ahead and put this on its own layer. This and and the eyelids as well. We'll go ahead and put them on a new bone layer. So you know what? Uh, when you uh, when you add the the human meta rig, it's already divided up into different layers for the rigify purposes. But since I'm not going to be using rigify. I'm going to go ahead and put all of those onto the first layer there. Okay? And you can see they disappear from over here. So they're all on one layer. But I'm going to go ahead and put the eyelids and the mouth control. We'll go ahead and leave the eyeball itself and the look at on the original uh, layer. But I'm going to put these over on their own layer. Okay? And then we'll just go to just that layer. And that'll help clean things up so we're not, so there's not so much confusion of so many bones in, the, in place there. Okay, so we'll grab this one, call this one CTR for control, and we'll say smile.l. It'll also control the frown, but we'll get the idea, control smile.l. And we also need to make sure that this one is not deforming anything. And then also, I guess we need to do that on the eyes, the eyeball there. Do not deform. And then the look at, do not deform. Okay. Okay, good to go. So we'll go back to just the face layer. There we go. That'll control the smile frown. Let's shift D, duplicate that up to the eyebrow. And we'll say control brow dot L. Okay. And we'll shift D, duplicate that down to where it's kind of lined up with the middle of the eyebrow. And we'll call this one control brow mid. Okay. And then we'll go to our front view and move that over to where it is in the middle. Let's go to our wireframe view so we can line it up. X axis there, just just like so. Okay, so we'll tab back out, and let's duplicate that one now to the chin area, and we'll call that one CTRL chin. Okay, and then also we want to make it to where we can control uh, the tongue, so we can have it stick out or you know wag to the left, right, whatever. So I'm going to duplicate this chin bone, but this one we do need to be a deformer. There we go. And we'll go ahead and drag it. You can kind of see where the tongue is at. Let's drag the base of it there. And we're going to do like we did on the ear. Um, actually a little bit different, but we'll just go ahead and drag this to the tip where the tongue would be. So it's right in here. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and subdivide that couple of times. So we want to have the tongue base. So let's go ahead and make that a little bigger. And then the tongue tip and then the tongue main. So go to our solid views and we can see it a little easier. And let's make it all flatter. Control Shift S, Control Alt S, uh, Z. So we can make it flatter. So it represents the tongue a little better. Maybe this one a little 
thicker on the Z. There we go. Okay, so this one needs to be parented to the head. So let's go ahead and turn that layer back on. Shift select that. Shift select the head. Control P and keep the offset. So now make sure. There we go. And we also need to tell all of these face bones to be parented to the head as well. Oops. Control P. Uh, in edit mode. Control P. Keep the offset. Okay, so now that should be controlling everything except for the look at target. And it is, so good to go. Alright, so now we have our basic facial controls for the drivers. So let's go ahead and copy everything over. Go back to our face layer. Just this left side. And put our 3D cursor there in the middle. Okay. Um, tab into edit mode. Shift D. And period, so we're around the 3D cursor, SX, negative 1, enter, and then go ahead and select the inverse, control R. Oh, right. I need to go ahead and flip the names first. There we go. Now select the inverse. And X-axis mirrors are turned on, control R, there. Good to go. Okay, so now we have all of the constraints set up. Let's go ahead and save that. Um, and before we start, yeah, I was going to go ahead and say before we start messing with the tongue, which that can go along with uh, the rest of the rig once we apply the armature to the model. But for now, we're just going to mess with the, uh, the, uh, the, the drivers that will control our, our uh, shape keys. So the way we do that is we go over, select your model itself and make sure you're in the uh, object data tab right there, the little triangle. Let's go ahead and collapse the vertex group right there. And starting with mouth down, we're going to click the little black down arrow right there. And that, nope, incorrect. We're going to right click, sorry, on the number area there and say add driver. Now it makes it purple and that means it has a driver added to it. So now we need to define how the driver works. So let's split this window up. And just to make things a little more visible, let's hit, I'll go over here in this window, hit T and N. So there, the toolbox and the properties panel aren't turned on. Give us a little bit more room and then we'll come over here and go to the graph editor and then right here where it says f curve editor change that to drivers we'll make this window a little bigger and then hit n over here to view the properties here okay so jackie has a key and it has one uh driver in there so we need to like i said define how this driver works now uh, the type needs to be averaged value you can see it says error invalid target channel. Well, that's because there's nothing set up here in the target yet. So we need to tell it, you know, which object or bone is going to control that mouth down motion. So we say it's going to be Jackie Rig and it's going to be Control Chin. And I notice we'll have to go in there and rename all the tongue bones. But uh, so now it's, it's set to the X location of that, which we don't want. We want the, I believe it'll be the Y location. So if we grab that chin bone now and move controller huh okay um, we have to update the dependencies there we go oopsie there it goes so it's moving it back instead of up and down so we need to tell it uh, should it be local space I believe so okay but it's moving the opposite direction so we need to tell it to go uh, negative one there on the y-axis so when I go down like that it'll open the jaw but we need it to kind of behave a little faster than that so instead of negative one let's go let's try negative five and see how that works so that works pretty much as far as we're dragging that bone controller down that's how the mouth is opening so that'll work yep 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 okay so we'll do the same thing on all the other shape keys and it will save a little time so, because all we'll have to do is just change uh, basically the bone and then whatever location we need to change it to. So we can right click over here on the driver where we created it and say copy. And then we'll just go through and paste it on each one of these other shape keys. Oopsie. Did something. What did I, what did I do? I don't know. Remove from keying set. Did I un? Did I mess something up? Let me undo a couple of times. 
Paste driver. Okay. Should be good to go. Paste driver. Paste. 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 And finally, paste. Okay, so once you get all those pasted across there, you'll notice that the chin bone now controls everything. It's kind of hard to tell in the smile. And it doesn't look like it's controlling the, the eyebrows. But uh, anyways, we got all those... All, each and every one of the shape keys now has a driver on it. So we just need to kind of define which driver or which bones are going to control it now. So next up in the list is mouth.l. So we're going to say control smile.l. There we go. And you know what? Just so things are a little easier, let's go ahead and rename the tongue bones because right now they have the control and they're kind of coming up in the, in the list there. So let's just name that tongue base. Okay. And then... Tongue 01.01, and then tongue tip. That'll work. Okay, so now back to there. And okay, smile.l. So we need to say when the when it goes up instead of down. So change that to a positive value. So now when we grab that, oh, and that's the. Okay, that's not smile. That's mouth. So that still needs to be the chin. There we go. And instead of uh, Y location, it's going to be X location. So now I want to grab the chin, move it to the left. There we go. So we can do the same thing. Okay. And same thing on the right, X location. But this time we're going to leave it negative. So now when we go negative, boom. Beautiful. Okay, so now smile. So that needs to be control smile.l. And like I said, positive number there. And we can test out each and every one of these as we go. Or we can just go ahead and do all of them and then make sure they all work properly. So smile.r will be smile.r and positive number. Frown will be frown.l will be smile.l, but it needs to stay the negative number. Same thing with frown.r. That's odd. For some reason it has the lamp as a transform channel. So Jackie Rig and Control smile dot r negative number good and you can see that's red so we need to say update dependencies and there we go huh for some reason that made the lamp <laughs> the that's weird I don't know how I did that but uh, just change that to Jackie rig and okay make sure where we're going here can brow up dot l so we'll need to say control brow dot l and that'll need to be a positive number brow up dot r, make sure we're Jackie Rig, brow dot r, positive number, brow down, Jackie Rig, brow dot l, and we'll leave that one the negative number because it's going down, and Jackie Rig, good, actually that needs to be, you know, you change that, getting confused here, brow dot r, negative, good, and brow mid, this one will be brow mid right there. And up, we we'll need to change that to positive. And down, finally, brow mid, and we'll leave it negative. So let's uh, just double check here real quick. Mouth down is control chin negative, good. Mouth L, chin X axis, good, good, good. Smile, smile. Okay, everything looks good. So now each one of these bones should control the face. So we bring it up, controls the smile. Bring it down, controls the frown. Up, smile, down, frown. And then the chin will control both left and right of the jaw. And then the eyebrows up and down, up and down, and middle. So there we go. Easy as pie, huh? Okay, so now if we turn on this layer, rotate that around, and what's nice is even though those bones are moving along with the head, they don't control the the uh, the shape keys because they're not moving in their local space. So if we move the head over here and then grab those face controls there for the corners of the mouth, they still control it. So good to go. All right, so that's going to be it for part 10. Um, and part 11, we'll go in and, and make sure we get all the, 
the armature attached to the mesh and then uh, you know make sure everything's the weight paints and everything weight paintings painted weights are all set up properly so again that's gonna be it for part 10 thank you for watching and I'll see you in part 11